guys welcome back to family frenzy vlogs about to go out here in the back i think hubby is out what you doing over there hubby he over here firing up the grill y'all okay you getting that fire started What are we cooking today? Oh, we got those ribs on the grill. I made my world famous potato salad earlier. Had some short ribs, some bones ribs. Cut my hamburgers and some sausages. Primo sausages. Okay. Big primo sausages. Why primo, honey? They're the best. Got that right. <laughs> the best. Oh, you got the baby grill going too? Well, we're gonna throw some asparagus on this grill over here. Oh, okay. All right. And maybe some zucchini. We got some zucchini, zucchini in there. Yeah, we have some. Yeah, we're gonna throw some asparagus and some zucchini on a little grill. Okay. All right. So. Oh, okay. All right. So. I gotta spark it up one time. Just one time. One time. Because I gotta see fire. <laughs> That's a big fire right there. I hit the little girl one time. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get this meat ready. All right, guys. We're about to put some asparagus on the grill. Yeah, we're about to do this so, asparagus real quick like. I love asparagus. We asparagus. Got some minced garlic there. Yeah, we're gonna throw a little bit of minced garlic on it. Mm-hmm. If I can never open the wrapper. Mm-hmm. Look like I'm struggling. Uh-oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we like garlic on our stuff, so we're gonna put a nice little generous portion of garlic on that right there. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of kosher salt. Kosher salt sticks a little better than regular salt. Mm -hmm. so we'll throw a little bit of kosher salt on there. Oh, and I forgot the most important thing. Always make sure your hands are nicely washed guys before touching your foods and vegetables and wash your vegetables with how you to wash it remember but however you wash them as long as you wash them put a little drizzle that's olive oil you olive guys oil. you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty when you're cooking y'all Family, if I'm cooking for somebody else, I have some gloves on. For sure. my family, I'm rolling hands on. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at our grills. Okay. Let's see what our grills look like, Paul. Oh, yeah, they're coming along, coming along, coming along. That's some good smoke right there. Now, usually I have a grill mat. But I didn't get my grill mats for the season yet. So I'm going to just use a piece of aluminum foil for right now. I'm going to put a couple on the grill itself. For right now. Oh, I dropped one. Alright. Right now, we're just going to let that hang out for a little while. Put a couple on the grill. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, y'all. So, we have our short ribs, our boneless ribs, and our primo sausages. So, we about to take this out to the grill. I'm a meat man. We usually do chicken and hamburgers and hot dogs and all that, but it's just us this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, we gonna keep it simple. Next weekend, whole different story because the fam coming over. <laughs> This is a precursor to next week. 
So guys, we actually marinated that meat last night. So before we barbecue, usually always make sure the meat is marinated like the night before. So that's what we usually do when it comes to our barbecues. If I know that there's pork eaters, non-pork eaters, I'll cook all the, the beef on the little grill. But since it's just us, and I clean my grill every time I use it. It's always sanitized. It's always sanitized. Look at that boneless rib, y'all. Those are some beef short ribs. This meat smelling good already. Got that Italian sausage going over there. Got that smoke. Let me go on the other side. There we go. Look at that, y'all. Mm -hmm. So now, I like to flip my meat constantly so it cooks evenly on both sides. So I'm one of those guys that stand over the grill and flip. I let the smoke make me cry. <laughs> but I find that it's, it's better to do it this way so that we get the best maximum taste out of all our food mm -hmm. when it's cooked through all the way hey y'all right, this meat is looking real good right now all hold right, on let me turn the camera around so y'all can see <laughs> we got a little burn marks on a little something, 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 something. flip them over a little bit Get the move a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let some of this fire burn up, burn up. I'm gonna close the lid so we can keep some of this goodness in. We'll turn the big boy over here. Wow, look at the charm marks. That's so good, that's so good. You always keep you a cup of water. You want your flames to get burst while you got it closed. And we close our leg half. Got something going away over there. Yeah, that's all right. Mm-hmm. So right, we can put the next crop on. All right, I'll go get the next crop, put it on, and then we'll be done with our experience. It's looking good though. Cousin, the barbecue sauce in a few minutes. Did you just say they're cousin? Yeah, they're cousin the barbecue What sauce. in the world? <laughs> they're cousin. Okay. Big boy gonna take a little longer to cook. But these babies right here. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna prep the barbecue sauce for these ribs. That's usually my duty. So I usually always do a little something special to my ribs, which is why they are always a hit at our barbecues. You guys have that hit, you know, that everyone always like. Our ribs are definitely our hit, okay? So, let me uh, prep this up real quick, and I'll be right back with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so I just added my special ingredients to our barbecue sauce. So, I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. So, I mean, I know we're sharing uh, recipes on this channel, but it's always going to be those few things that... 
we just can't put out there just yet. I don't think we're, we got to keep some things to ourselves, you know, especially our family secrets. So I'm just going to mix this up real good. Get them ready for the meat. I like a lot of sauce on my barbecue ribs. I mean, it don't have to be dripping wet, but I don't really like it dry. I gotta have sauce. Sean, he like his, you know, with just a, a little bit of sauce. He don't even need sauce, pretty much. He'll eat it dry. But um, I always have to have some sauce. Do y'all like your ribs off the grill or in the oven? I usually think that off the grill is the best way. I eat it out of the oven as well. Okay, so I think this is ready. So let me let y'all see this real quick. Look real good. Hold on. There you go. Look at that. Some good old sauce. Nice and sweet. So yeah, I like it sweet too. Okay, you ready for the sauce? Okay, so the short ribs are ready for sauce. So let me take this out to him real quick. Here you go. Have the brush for me, honey. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Can you grab the brush for me? You need the brush? Okay. Okay, now we usually use a brush to put the sauce on the barbecue ribs. It's just easier that way. Look at that. Can you smell it? Mm, mm, mm. actually sat down and um, made up a whole new batch of our special seasoning for the barbecue ribs. We just put it in the jar. We can start dressing her up. It's going to take her a minute though. Big girl back here, just going to get a dressing. Just a dressing. And I'll flip her over. Just a dressing. That's a big piece of meat. Just a dressing. Mm. She's still cooking. Got a little bit more ways to go. Okay. Time for these bad boys to come off. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There you go. Mmm. Look at those beef ribs, y'all. Sausage is ready to come off too. Now again, if I had people that don't eat pork over, all this stuff would be in separate pans and cooked separate ways. Half the grill would be beef, half the grill would be pork. And I always sanitize, so there's no whip. I always clean the sanitize before I do anything. And I'm gonna flip old girl back over, put her in the middle of the rack. And let the little barbecue sauce I put on the caramelized for a minute. Okay, y'all, so <laughs> we gonna have to take a sample of these beef ribs. These things just looking too good. Yeah. Still a little hot for you, honey. I'm gonna oh. to cool down. Okay, I'm gonna let mine cool down a little bit. They just came off the fire, so let me let them cool for a second, and then we're gonna taste these babies. All right, y'all, I'm about to taste these babies. They look so good. Oh, my I was about to say, listen, don't don't sit there. And, and, mm. These ribs are so good. Look how tender they are. Just mm. pull off the bone. Just pull off the bone. Mm. <laughs> All right, I, I got to get a hold of them too now. Don't don't sit mm. there. I'm sorry, you're not getting this one. Well, turn this off. Mm. <laughs> See ya. 
Y'all, these ribs are slamming. <laughs> they are so good. I'm mean, not saying that so, this is Not at all. Like, anyone would tell you who comes to our barbecues, I'm telling you, our ribs are on point. They're on point. So, you just gotta make it special. You know, when we cook, we cook with love. That's what you gotta do when you're making dinner for the family. You gotta cook with love. They can taste that love in your food. So, what do you guys usually pair with your ribs? For us, we always, I ask them what they have to pair with their ribs. We always have to have potato salad. Some kind of salad got to go on the side of your ribs. Yeah, I have baked beans as well sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes I'll have baked beans. So. See, and that's why we flip it all the time. The meat is cooked through on both sides. Oh, look at that. Mm. So we're going to go ahead put our barbecue sauce on it. See that? Nice piece of meat. Pork tender. Okay, y'all, this is the finished product. Look at that barbecue boneless spare right there. And that beef rib. Mm. Got that sausage. That asparagus and potato salad. Thank you for joining us today, guys. We will see you next time. Good night.